So uh, each uh, component or the sub assembly has a certain code. Now we are not discussing the coding here. Actually, I missed that uh, material to be included in the slide. So we will discuss it in the next lecture that how we can assign a certain code to a certain component. Generally speaking, I just give you an idea that there are two ways to, to assign a code to, to the components in the organizations. Uh, one is uh, alphanumeric, that is practically more common. Alphanumeric codes and the second option that is used is uh, numerical codes. So there are no alphabets, there are only uh, numerical values. For example, alphanumeric code could be something like, say you are having um, the pump uh, as a final product. So it could be, for example, P101. So P stands for pump or motor, maybe something like 202. So this is alphanumeric codes. Simply numerical could be something like that, 10101. So this 10 might uh, define the product family and 101 its type, just like here, the P was defining the product family and 101 its model, or M was defining the product family and 202 was defining the model. But in numerical, of course, first couple of digits generally define the product family and the rest of the uh, digits define the product model or its, its variant. So it could be something like uh, this. So we will discuss it in more detail in the next lecture that how we assign the codes to the component. But generally the first alphabet or first couple of alphabets uh, define the level of that product. So here we are going to discuss what is meant by the level of a product uh, in the product structure. So generally speaking, the smaller digits show the higher level component and the larger digits show the lower level component. So this is the rule of thumb. Now here we are going to discuss a very simple uh, numerical assignment. So we are calling this final assembly to be level zero, this one to be level one and this to be level two, but it could be something like one zero, two zero, three zero, uh, depending upon the type of coding that is being used. But rule of thumb is that the Higher level product has smaller digit and the lower level components have larger digit. So it could be simply 0, 1, 2, or maybe 10, 20, 30, 100, 200, 300, depending upon the specific coding technique that is used by the organization. So in this case, the product A has level 0 or maybe 10 or 100, depending upon uh, whether we are using single. Uh, digit or two digit or three digit coding. Uh, the sub assembly B has a code one. Now the C is tricky because C is being used here as well as here. So whether we will assign it a level one, level two or both. So one thing that is very clear that we cannot assign two codes to the same component. So we cannot say that C is also level one as well as level two component. Now, conceptually it is, but we will assign it a single code. So as, as a rule, we assign the lowest level code. And lowest level code means the earliest this component will be used. So that is the basic point. The earliest this component will be used to be assembled with D to make B. And then it will be assembled with B to make A. So earliest it will be used is at level two. So as we discussed that this product structure also shows us the sequence of um, uh, assembling the product. So first it is to be assembled with D and then it is to be assembled with C. So C has a level two and D also has a level two. And I repeat that for the sake of simplicity, we are having the one digit code, but it could be two or three digit code as well. So just, for you to think over what is the low level code for keyboard and what is the low level code for casing in this case. 